here we are. It's us. Meet this guy. And this guy. Him too. Now meet Robin. This is the other side. We made a smartphone, the only cloud-first, design-forward smartphone. We wanted something new, something different, a reboot. No one is making a smart smartphone. When you get so big, it's hard to see the forest through the trees, let alone the cloud from the forest. Their phones run out of space, they make you delete stuff you don't want to, drop your phone, and you have to start all over. It's not smart, it's shit. Since Robin can run up here, it always has enough storage. F this icon, this one's better. And since we actively manage the data, you can keep your photos, songs, videos, and apps. And it does it by being smart, by learning, by adapting. Don't use something for a while? We'll hold it up here. You need it back? We make it rain. They can chase gigs. We'll rock the cloud. Also, Robin looks badass. And kicks ass. It's a super phone. That's why we wrote it down. This is our crew. Badass. Fearless makers with fearless experience. Our dogs have tricks. Our interns have tricks. There's so much talent working to unlock the power of the cloud. Day and night. This stuff ain't easy. But nothing this special is easy. Instead of going to a carrier, we're bringing the special directly to you. We're bringing you a special, smarter, super smartphone that adapts to life as you live it. You have what you need, when you need it, wherever you are. So that's it. We think it's pretty great. If you do too, then join us on Kickstarter. Let's keep doing this our way. From us, straight to you, always. Or next bit. Get next now. At Sensil, we're developing the next generation of input devices. We're trying to replace the archaic keyboard and mouse with an interface that's upgradable, it's customizable, and it really captures all the nuance and expression that our hands are capable of. Our first product looks like a trackpad, but we've actually packed 20,000 sensor elements into this form factor. Each of these sensor elements can detect the full range of forces that human hands are capable of. That means that when you touch this device, we can tell not only where your fingers are, but also how hard each one is pressing. We're precise and accurate enough to even detect bristles from this paintbrush. Because we sense force, we can detect touches through any flexible material. We've started developing these three-dimensional tactile overlays that when placed on top of the morph, change the device into any type of interface you can imagine. The overlays include magnets, making them easy to swap in and out, and software inside the morph automatically changes modes based on the overlay. You can connect it to your computer with a USB cable, and it can even talk to your tablet or phone via built-in Bluetooth. We believe this product will dramatically change the way people interact with technology, and we reached out to a few of our friends to see what they would create with a Sensil Morph. With the Sensil Morph, I'm able to work with the brush very naturally in a nuanced way. For instance, if I let go of the brush too soon, the bristles kind of sw like sweep off and it picks that up. The tools disappear and you're left to your creativity and that's what's exciting. The reason why paper and pencil work well together is because pencil will carve into paper. Uh, that's something that in the digital world today doesn't actually really happen all that often. That tactility, that extra level of dimension uh, is, is what makes art. Designing an interface is probably a necessity. For example, the drum rack or effects, turning knobs uh, up and down or piano keys and all of that. You know, one controller does it all. To me, it's appealing for a user to touch this device and interact with the physical world in a, a different way, a new way. If we didn't have the, the force sensitivity that the Sensil Pad has, I just don't think it would be as magical of an experience. 
the morph is taking all of these things that I want access to, but are typically in separate devices. And now we have them all combined into one device. You've spent years developing this technology and partnered with Frog Design to refine the product and build out some core use cases in art, music, and gaming. If you need to carry two phones on the go for whatever reason, Peace is the simplest solution. This is how it works. Take the SIM card out from your work phone. Put it in Peace. Connect Peace to your private phone via Bluetooth. And now you can get rid of your work phone. When your friends or family call your private number, Hey, I'm in a shoot right now. Can I call you back in a minute? Or your boss calls your working number, it all happens in one phone. Via the Peace app, you can control all the settings of both your numbers separately. Manage your contacts, send text messages, basically just work your phone like you normally do. Peace is so small, it fits easily anywhere. You barely even know it's there. Oh, one last thing. When your phone and Peace are over 15 meters apart, Peace will ring to prevent you from losing your only phone. You can also use Peace to look for your phone. Just like you would your car in the parking lot. That way, we make sure you have one and only one phone on you at all times. Likewise, if Peace is in your wallet, you can use the Peace app to look for it. So it's nothing big, just this Peace right here. And it will certainly make your life a little easier. Thank you.